Hello everybody. So today I have a new notebook from Caliuga, who if you recall from my other one made the watercolor diffusion notebook, which eventually made its way into the regular disco diffusion um, shortly after. So I'm not sure if that, that could be the same thing that happens here, but today I just thought I'd try it out and kind of show you what this notebook is about. So this is called the Medieval 1.0 Notebook. And I'm just going to start it here with the default settings. I'm not going to change anything. And it looks like we have the first three VIT models here. And these are really the best ones overall. And then we've got the RN50 model. So I'm just going to set it up and then we'll do some prompts and run it. Okay, and we've got the models loaded up now. And I just changed the batch name. That's probably the only thing I'm going to change. Looks like we've got 250 steps here. Clip guidance 7000. So I'm just going to leave all these settings alone here and animation mode. We are in none. Okay, go ahead and run the cells. And here we go. Here we are in the text prompt. And you know what? Even though it's not really a medieval prompt, it does have med medieval painting. But let's just go ahead and run the default prompt here, which is a cyberpunk cityscape. Turn this down to one and this to 20. And we'll just use this default prompt here for our first one. Okay, and this first render is done here, and it has pretty nice colors there, and definitely has kind of a painting look. Let's try something with a little more medieval flair this time. So let's just do a, let's see, a castle, royal courtyard, and see what we get here. Nothing too fancy. Okay, we'll go ahead and run this, and then come back and check on it when it's done. Okay, and we have our next render here, and that definitely has a lot more of a kind of a medieval looking palette there. Let's try uh, something different this time. Let's try a royal throne room. Oops, not that kind of throne. Okay, so we've got a royal throne room with attendants and jesters. Let's really throw some medieval stuff in there. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, so we've got a royal throne room with attendants and jesters, and this medieval painting prompt was in the original, so I'm just kind of leaving it in there as a modifier to give us even more of that medieval look, possibly. So we'll go ahead and run this and come back and check when this one is done. Okay, and as this render is winding down, this definitely has a very medieval kind of look to it, a medieval painting look, even with the cracks there and everything. And just a little bit about my background, too, with art and stuff. I used to design a lot of video game levels for the Unreal Engine. So anything like this where I see, hey, I could use this, like if I'm ever making a uh, level with a medieval castle, you know, I could make these and put these paintings on the wall, that kind of stuff. So I'm, I'm always looking at stuff that can, like, you know, add to a theme and that kind of thing, especially with textures. That was kind of always my area. So I did notice something else too, I was making this. Now it doesn't really look like it here, but the um, vertical symmetry was checked on. So I'm not sure if that is a feature of this model that works better with it on, but I'm gonna go ahead and just try it with it off here. And this is the only default setting I've changed so far. Everything else I've left the same. So I'm just gonna do it one more time here with the same prompt and just see what happens with that unchecked. But yeah, I really like this really definitely had that medieval look to it. Okay, we'll go ahead and run this and come check on it. Okay, and we are back with this render where I did turn the vertical symmetry off. So that might have just been left on by mistake. I think this came out, you know, at least as good. If not, I think this one actually came out better than the one where the vertical symmetry was checked. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it off. And now let's go ahead and... And what should we try next? Let's try something that's not truly really related to medieval, just for the heck of it. Well, let's do, actually, let's do this. Let's just do a dark citadel fortress. And I'm just kind of flying off the cup here. So I've got a dark citadel fortress in a fantasy landscape with a stormy sky. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the medieval painting in there and we'll see what this one does. Okay, and this render is done. It does look like I did get a bit of a dark sky there because of that stormy sky. But we do see a little castle there and stuff. So it definitely has elements there of my prompt. And I, I really kind of like this look, though. It really has, everything kind of has that medieval painting look to it, you know. And, and that's what this this diffusion model was designed to do. 
Now let's go ahead and do another one here. I think what I'm going to do, I, up till now I haven't changed any of the default settings. I'm going to go ahead and change the resolution and do this uh, widescreen kind of a format instead of a portrait style. So we'll do 512 by 384 here. And then one other thing I'm going to do is turn the clip guidance scale down. This can just eliminate um, double horizon sometimes for landscape kind of images. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use the same prompt, but I'm just going to take off the stormy sky this time. See if we get a little less dark. Okay, so I'm keeping the prompt the same, a dark citadel fortress in a fantasy landscape, and I'm going to go ahead and do this run again now. Okay, we are back, and I really like this image. I really like the darkness of it and the castle, and it has a single horizon line there. It's, you know, it's a little bit dark, but I do really like this one. This definitely, you know, I'm getting images here that I haven't really, you don't really see this style normally with Disco Diffusion. So I, I like models like this that will, you know, just give you something a little different to work with. Okay, and let's do one more here to close out here. Let's do a queen having a ceremony in a royal throne room. So we'll come check on this one. This is done. This time I've kept the kind of landscape scale here just to see how this turns out this way. Okay, and here's our final render here. And I think we're going to leave it at this one. This one definitely really captures that kind of medieval painting look. And again, my prompt here was a queen having a ceremony. So if, if you have, you know, a need of some medieval paintings or you just like the style, this is an absolutely great diffusion model for it. And I haven't seen any other kind of AI art that looks like this so it's definitely unique and it really does have that kind of cool medieval medieval flair and painting look to it so thank you for watching and as always i have a lot more tutorials in the works and so stay tuned